Hi, I'm Michaela. So let's take a look at this um, new set of essays. This first one is the letter about the dark barking dog. Here's what you said. Dear Mr. Brown, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to ask you to take measures regarding uh, the constant barking of your pet. I completely understand that controlling mm, the behavior of a dog can be difficult. However, I believe it is the responsibility of the owner to make sure it does not disturb other people. Um, okay, so let's talk about this first of all. Um, I like everything. Obviously, you had some trouble with your articles, and I think this is something we've talked about before. Um, I would have preferred that these were in one paragraph. Um, I, paragraphing is not super important in task one. However, um, if you are aiming for one of those higher band scores, you know, maybe you would like an eight, it is in your best interest to make sure that your paragraphing is logical. So, um, like I said, I would stick these two together simply because it doesn't make sense to have a paragraph that consists of just one sentence. So attach this just to the previous paragraph and you'll be fine. Um, you may notice that I changed this. I said, I believe it is the responsibility of the owner. Um, it's more natural sounding than a responsibility of an owner. And um, when we say the owner, it, it's kind of like of all owners. All right, so it's that usage of the. Um, I might have mentioned this in a previous correction that we did together. Um, I want you to revise some gra uh, grammar rules regarding articles. This seems to be something that you, um, you don't have a lot of grammar errors, but this is one that you typically have some trouble with. So I want you to find a good um, advanced grammar resource and I want you to revise some of those rules. All right, let's move on. In my case, hearing the barking of your German Shepherd all day long and after midnight creates problems for me and my family. First of all, the quality of my sleep has never been worse since the dog started to bark at night. I even had to visit my health practitioner because of sleep deprivation. Secondly, my daughter is not able to focus on her studies during the daytime, which is detrimental for her academic performance. Could you please take actions to tackle this issue and ensure the pet keeps quiet once in the premises of our compound? Otherwise, I would have to complain to the local authorities to settle this matter. I would also suggest you taking it to a dog handler who could be helpful in terms of proper training for the dog. All right, I would get rid of that comma. It felt kind of strange. I look forward uh, I look forward to, not forward for, I look forward to your prompt response. Thank you in advance. You're sincerely. All right, it's lovely. There's really nothing else to say here. I mean, you've got some nice language some uh you know some extension it was certainly long enough let's see exactly how long let's see mm -hmm. yep 198 words that's fine um so no problems at all i mean you have some nice expressions here like sleep deprivation detrimental for her academic performance so all this was very nice you did a really good job uh like i said it was just that stuff in the beginning regarding um articles and then here with um just a paragraph, but that's just a minor issue. So let's take a look at your task. All right, so now let's move on to green energy. Here's what you wrote. Okay. Um, in this day and age, wind, solar, and even geothermal energy sources are taking off in countries all around the world. Clean energy is believed to be more cost efficient as well as eco-friendly, yet there are risks associated with its reliability. I'm of the opinion that despite all the benefits of renewables, current technologies are still immature to ensure complete transition from conventional energy sources to clean, sustainable alternatives. Okay, good, great. Let's see how you developed it. In the midst of otherwise depressing developments in the progress of climate change, one a not a get rid of a no that doesn't belong here. A one bit of positive news is that the cost of renewables is getting lower. With governmental incentives, it makes more sense to build um, new wind and solar farms rather than old, outdated fossil-based plants. For example, currently. An offshore wind farm is being constructed in Norway, which has estimated costs of 30% less than a nuclear plant of equal capacity. Not only is it supposed to supply up to 50% of electricity to the whole nation, but it can also generate profit by selling a surplus of energy to neighboring countries. Furthermore, emitting zero harmful particles into the atmosphere makes it one of the most sustainable and environmentally friendly energy sources available. Okay, uh, yeah. Good. 
the I think I wanted you to talk about its um environmentally friendliness a little more. You compared it before to fossil ba uh fossil based fuels. So you could have done that. You could have, you know, just added one extra sentence. I mean, you spent so much time talking about the cost and you spent very little time talking about the benefit to the environment. Now, why is that important? Because here, greatly reduced cost and a better thing for the environment. So you're supposed to talk about both of those issues. And while you did, you really spent a lot more time talking about the cost reduction, okay? So be careful about that. Try to balance this out a little better. Let's move on to your next paragraph. Cost saving and environmental preservation alone are insufficient for alternative sources of energy to be mass adopted. Okay, here I would have liked some sort of transition to show that you're going into the other side. So you could have had something like uh, that said or um, despite the above or even just like a, a however because you are shifting gears here. So it would be a good idea to, um, to indicate that, okay? So, uh, cost saving and environmental preservation alone are insufficient for alternative en sources of energy to be mass adopted. The bottleneck that is renewable energy is intermittent, highly dependent on climate conditions and difficult to have on demand when needed, which is crucial for hospitals, factories, and general population. Now, this is um, an advanced sentence, it's a complex sentence, it might be a little long, and I think you might have a couple too many dependent clauses here. Um, this felt also really kind of strange to me, the bottleneck is. Um, I feel like it would have been better if you had said the bottleneck occurs uh, because, or just, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I just reading it, it um, felt kind of strange. Let's try it the way you wrote it, though. Um, the bottleneck is that, yeah, I don't think you can really say that the bottleneck is. You could say a bottleneck, or the bottleneck occurs, um, since renewable energy is intermittent, um, highly dependent on climate conditions, and difficult to have on demand when needed. All right, and then this maybe you could have left off. So let's stop the sentence here, and then um, then you could say, this makes it um, impractical for our hospitals, factories, and the general population. Okay, so I would have switched that up a little bit. I mean, you're still creating cohesion. You're still creating um, advanced sentences here, but you're just making them a little... Um, how can I say this? More chewable. I mean, they're more digestible like this, okay? Um, if that makes sense. So let's move on. Um, we don't say A, research. We say A, study, but research is uncountable, so we get rid of the article here. So recent research by the German government indicates that even the most efficient wind and solar farms can only work optimally 30% of the time, let alone that in some locations it drops to 10%. Consequently, it, this means that it may always need a more consistent energy source, such as fossil or nuclear, to cover renewables, you need an apostrophe here, downtimes in order to prevent energy blackouts. Okay? Fine. Okay. Uh, from these examples and arguments given, I tend to believe that in spite of all the advantages renewable energy systems have these days, switching to complete dependency, um, you don't mean from green energy. You don't mean that. Um, on green energy. You mean switching to complete dependency on green energy seems to be unfeasible due to inefficiency of modern technologies. Okay, that's what you meant there. This is really very, very good. Um, you had some really nice information. You had some really nice um, support. And I, I really, really liked this. Um, you had a couple of little things that you could see I corrected here and there, but it wasn't really anything major. I think this is um, an essay that would do very well in the exam, okay? So uh, congratulations, you're doing great. Now, um, this should be your last set of essays with us. I don't remember if you've told us when your exam is. If you've got a little bit of time, what I want to recommend to you is... Um, 
is continuing with asset corrections. You can get a package with us so you can just do the asset corrections. This way you can continue practicing writing. Uh, you can continue to get feedback because um, you don't want to lose any of the progress you've made. Okay. So see if that's something you can do. Um, I really encourage you to do so because while you're doing really well, I would hate you to lose some of, you know, this progress. So uh, hopefully we'll see more of your essays. Um, you're doing great. Let us know what you decide to do and we'll be waiting to hear from you. Okay. Good luck.